Greetings and names of days in Estonian. With Gohesti. Tere, tere, tere. Hi, everyone. Today I will talk about how to say greetings like hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, bye. See you. Have a good day. All these kinds of greetings and names of the days of the week, from Monday to Sunday. Sounds simple? No way. Remember, it's Estonian. But don't worry, that doesn't mean it will kill you. Well, recently, an Estonian wrote me to encourage me to study Estonian. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, that's a quote from Friedrich Nietzsche. I don't want to be stronger, you might say. Welcome, you are not alone. I was one of them. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this to discourage you. You need to get ready to be wet. Isn't it always better to be safe than sorry? So, put on your life jacket. It's not a swimming pool, not a stream. It is the Baltic Sea. Deep and cold, especially in the Nordic winter. Are you ready? Let's wait. Hold on. I'm not ready yet. Before we move on, we need to warm up. Let's start with the first impression. Honestly, I don't really remember when exactly I heard spoken Estonian, except when a waiter walked up to me and said "Tere," which is "hello" in Estonian. But I do remember how it felt like when I heard the Finnish language for the first time. I was scared. No offense, though. If you are Finnish, I do hope it doesn't offend you. I had no clue at all that it was Finnish at first. To go to Estonia, I had a stopover in Helsinki, Finland. At the airport, there was an announcement, and part of it was something like. I don't remember it clearly though. It sounded like a magic spell, abracadabra, but nothing like bibi di babi di bu, Cinderella's delightful magic song. Well, I'm not a good singer, but that song is like this. Salakadola magica bola bibi di babi di bu. It will do magic, believe it or not, bibi di babi di bu. Okay, compared to that song, the Finnish announcement was definitely monotone. By the way, I speak Korean, English, and French. My French is bad, though. But still, even if I speak no other languages, when someone speaks Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Italian, German, or Russian, I can definitely tell which language it is. The sounds are different enough to distinguish them. Back then at the airport, I was very curious. I could only guess that was about flight information. Soon, I realized it was Finnish. Obviously, I was in Finland. Now that I think of that moment, the reason why I felt frightened was because the very first thing I heard in Finnish was an official announcement. The official announcement needs to be formal and brief. The speaker doesn't intend to sound cold, but tries to be neutral without emotion. Finnish and Estonian are quite similar, but I haven't really felt Estonian was frightening. I think it's mainly because I heard the friendly sound of "dere" very often. I don't remember the first moment I heard English or French. It was a long time ago, but it must be in a song, movie, or in a class. So it was quite casual, unlike formal speeches. While I recall. Korean official announcements that I've heard at the airport, in a subway or in a shopping mall, I see it could sound a bit cold if I pay attention to it. In case you don't speak Korean, just to help you feel how it sounds, I'll show you some examples. You can just relax, listen, and feel it without hurting your brain. As an exaggerated example, "Hi, how are you?" with friends in Korean would be "Annyeong, 잘 지내." But a voice message saying the number you have reached is out of service. Please check the number dialed and try again. Would be. 지금 거신 번호는 없는 번호입니다. 다시 확인해 주시고 걸어주세요.
Now that I compare the sounds of my mother language depending on the situation, now it all makes sense that saying this is the final boarding call for flight ABC. Please proceed to gate number 10 immediately. The door will be closing in 5 minutes. Thank you. In Finnish could sound intimidating. Even if it was not an urgent bomb warning. But still, I can't really deny that Estonian and Finnish sound quite monotone. But once you get to know them, they both are beautiful languages. Phew, that was a really long warm-up. Are you still with me? Congratulations, you've survived a long warm-up. Let's dive in. This video mainly focuses on my tips to memorize words or phrases I learned from the website Kieleglik. I will introduce Estonian songs that helped me to get used to those vocabularies and I might sing some songs. If you're looking for a teacher's tutorial or grammar lessons, I recommend that you go to the website Kieleglik. Okay, this time let's really start. First, to say hello, you can say Tere or Terbist. Tere is more common and Tervist is more formal. Literally, Tervist means wishing you health. With friends, you can say Tere Tere in a friendly way. Depending on the time you greet someone, there are several ways to say hello. Good morning. Tere homikust. Good afternoon. Tere paevast. Good evening. Tere uttust. To say goodbye, you can say heataiga or Nagamist at any time. Depending on the time you say goodbye or bye, there are several ways to say it as well. During the day, heata baiba, have a good day. During the evening, heata uttut, have a good evening. During the night, heata good night. There are other ways to say goodbye. Nagimisani, see you, or till we see. Koktumizani, so long, or Till we meet. Gul mizeni. We'll hear from you. Or till we hear. So, bye and hello in formal way. Does it hurt your brain? Well, I told you it's not simple. For beginners, it's a lot to remember all, so let's not try to memorize them all at once. That's painful. It takes some time to get used to it. Now, I'll give you my tips on some words. At first, I would pick only five words. Tere, headaiga, headod, nagemist, and gokdumizani. That's it. That's enough to know to say hi and bye. Tere is easy, right? No need to explain it. For headaiga, bye, it reminds me of headaiga in a Korean dialect spoken in Busan, southeastern part of Korea, which means I did it, didn't I? as they sound somehow similar. I have lived all my life in Seoul, but I've heard people from Busan saying like that. Aiga is like didn't I or wasn't I. It's something you would add at the end of the sentence like I did a good job, didn't I? Or I'm really glad, am I not? To emphasize what you have just said. So, to make it simple, you would add Aiga in a Korean dialect. Then the sentence ends. Similarly, we could think we say headaiga at the end of meetings. Does it help? If you know a better one, please let me know in the comment. Next, headad, good night. Uh is night, but let's forget about grammar for now. It gives you stress. Uh and ud remind me of a French adjective o masculine and ot feminine, which mean high or tall. Eight in French is silent, so let's think like this. At night, your stress is high. It's time to go to bed. Yadod. Long time later, it's likely that we're going to forget this. But to reduce that possibility, why not try a song? A song titled Yadod is a relaxing lullaby. It will help you sleep well. Well, I'm not a singer, but let me try this song so that you can feel the meaning of this word. La la da 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 da. So I found an Estonian singing this, whose channel is called Mother Golif, and it was beautiful. 
Please check the link in the description. It's lovely and soothing. Next, see you, Nagamist. I remember my Korean yoga teacher always said Namaste to say goodbye at the end of the class. As I'm familiar with Namaste, it's easier to remember Nagamist than other ways to say goodbye. They both have N, M, S, and D. Nagamist. Now, go to Mizeni till we meet. It was quite hard to get used to it. My tip might just work for me. I tried to break down the word into some parts. Gok du mi zeni. In Korean, gok means surely, do means again, and in French, mezami means my friends. So how about thinking like this? Surely again, my friends. We will meet again. Still hard? I don't blame you. At this moment, why don't we get help from a very beautiful song called Gok du mine. It's a song of Maria Riz Illus, who has twice represented Estonia in the Eurovision Song Contest. Twice, yes, you heard it right. She sang in 1996 and 1997 in a row, and she was only 15 years old in 1996. It must be honorable to sing on such a big international stage just for once, but she did twice at such a young age. So impressive. My favorite song of hers, Kaila Keha, sounds like this. Okay, you just need to check out the original video of her singing this. She sang it at the Eurovision 1996 with a great male singer, Evelina. Personally, I don't understand why they didn't win, but they ranked the fifth, which is also great. The title meaning Voice of Nicholas sounds poetic. For the link to the translation of the lyrics, please check out the description. Though I can't really explain it in words, this song really stands out. It has authentic Estonian taste and unique Estonian touch. Please watch her original performance. You will love it. Her voice is priceless. Now, back to Gok Domina again. This song kind of reminds me of old Korean pop songs. Perhaps it's a bit of old songs, so it somehow enables you to feel the atmosphere or something the songs of 1990s have in common. Well, what can I say? Music knows no borders. Maybe there's some music style of the 1990s that was common worldwide. Hard to describe it though. I don't really feel the modern Estonian pop is similar to the modern Korean pop, but who knows, maybe in 30 years like in 2051, I might recall Korean pop songs of 2020s when I listen to an Estonian pop songs of 2020s. You never know. Speaking of 2051, it sounds quite far from now, but time always flies. Well, I'm not happy about that though, but maybe time needs to work harder during this kind of pandemic. Hopefully, this too shall pass soon. Nothing lasts forever. What do you think you will do in 30 years? I have no clue. But here's the news brief. Well, I don't really know what I will be doing 30 years later, but I'm aware of what happened 30 years ago. Not surprised at all. Well, you might be if you hear that. Korea and Estonia established diplomatic relations on October 17, 1991, so this year marks the 30th anniversary of our bilateral ties. This sounds special to me as I recently started studying Estonian. Oh wait, we are way out of the topic, too far away. Where were we? We are still in... Gokdumizeni. Well, slow and steady wins the race. We are slow enough. It's time to get back on track and be steady. I'm going to turn off my off the track button and run on a track called Gokdumine. Let's run on a track while Gokdumine is playing. I don't sing when I'm outside of home. I'm a bathroom singer, but just for you to get an idea of what Estonian sounds like, let me sing a bit. Please understand that my pronunciation is not perfect, as I'm just a beginner. I'm a shy person, so no judgment please, thank you. Hopefully you can kind of feel a bit of Estonian language and that you can get interested in listening to the original version. I added translations, but let's just focus on the sound of the word Gokdume.
Taas kui kogtu me juba kui tuttavad Koos niid koidu nii me ei pea ruutama Silmi silmist ei poorata suudame Tõse pakeni naib, mis julemas peeb Let's forget about grammar and see the following. The title Goktumine is a noun for meeting. Goktume in the lyrics means we meet. The word we learned is Goktumiseni, and now it's understandable that it means till we meet. Even if we haven't learned Estonian conjugation or grammatical case. Hope this song helps you to get used to Goktumiseni. Congratulations! Finally, we mastered five words. But it ain't over till it's over. Let's move on to the names of the days of the week. In Estonian, you don't write the days of the week in capital letter unlike in English. Esmas five, Monday, Daisy five, Tuesday, Kolma five, Wednesday, Nelia five, Thursday, Lede, Friday, La five, Saturday, Bia five, Sunday. The names of the days might seem short and easy, but it does take some time to get used to them. For French as well, it took some time to get familiar with the days, but it didn't for English. Maybe it's because I learned it when I was little. Though I'm still working on days in Estonian, here's my tip. You see here, it's the abbreviation of the names of the days. Let's think like this. Estonia starts with the letter E, and the week starts with Esmos 5, Monday. Tuesday and Daisy 5 both start with T. It might help to recall a movie called E.T. The Extraterrestrial. Actually, when I hear Daisy 5, it reminds me of Daisy the flower. I don't know many Chinese letters, but in Korean, choose is Hua, and its Chinese letter is used for the word fire or Mars. A Chinese letter for the flower also sounds Hua. This helps me to be used to Daisy 5. If it's more confusing, maybe you could think like this. You buy daisies on Tuesday, not daily. Or a girl named Daisy got a tooth pulled. Tooth sounds similar to tooth. A tooth fairy gave me a daisy flower. If you know another tip, you are very welcome to share it in the comment. For Nelia 5, maybe an Italian song, Nella Fantasia, meaning in my fantasy could help us. Take the part font of Fantasia and put it to Thursday. Fun Thursday sounds like Fun Thursday, right? So it's like Nella Fun Thursday. Okay, I know it sounds crazy, but please bear with me. I'm just trying to get used to it. If you're still not sure, then let's hear the names of the days in this song. It has plenty of them from Monday to Friday. The song is Not a la Loop of Koitome. Coincidentally, he has twice represented Estonia in the Eurovision just like Maria Ris Illus. He sang in 1998, just after Maria's participations in 1996 and 1997. Then, in 2017, he sang Verona, a duet with Laura Puldbere. My favorite one of his is Mere Lapset and it goes like this. The title means Children of the Sea. At the Eurovision 1998, this exactly showed how a man can be beautiful. His sweet voice, the elegant piano performance, and the lovely melodies. Everything's just perfect. He seemed like an angel singing a gospel song. Definitely, you need to watch the video of him singing this song. Back to the song Nadalalep. A game for you to grasp a bit of Estonian. I'll sing some parts of the song where the names of the days appear. Phew, this time I tried in three languages. While I can't really represent the typical Korean voice and of course not English voice, as English is not my mother language, but hope it somehow helps you to compare the sounds of three languages. Please focus on the sound of the names of days. Also, please note that the lyrics were translated liberally, not literally, to match the melody. So some words were omitted or changed. 
By the way, the title Nadala Loop means weekend, and the song mainly talks about a guy who is waiting for the fun weekend to come. On weekdays, time drag on, and his work life is boring. Doesn't it sound familiar? It does to me. I like weekends more than weekdays. I mean, who wouldn't? Okay, let the song begin. Unless my spy bar home, big not a lot no best. My old lens and listening is good law, if some are dead. Daisy by balloon, ox and murders in a lutein. My wee and mut is a be my da ha la la seed. It's Monday morning, a long week ahead. I'm in this circle, everything goes the same way. By Tuesday noon, I have a serious routine. I cry a full if I wanna get out of here. 기난 주를 앞둔 월요일 아침 제자리 걸음인 삶은 계속돼 화요일 오후에는 할 일이 있어 여기를 벗어나게 해달라 외쳐 고마 바이 벤이 꼬이 딥두니 드럼 시스넬리아 바이 르복 손가에스 아스 더 야눈 파이트 위만의 삶 야나 달라르 품만 나의 랄라라라라라라 Wednesday stress like a rush hour dream Then Thursday's finally here One last step to take and then The weekend I see 랄라라라라라라 수요일은 그 막힐 때 트렌 같아 목요일은 이제서야 도착 마지막 단계를 거치면 난 주말을 맞이해 랄라라라라라라 Need with them, baby. I got super dega scene. Don't the quickest room, cuny boss to to repeat. This to be no love of a nigga, but a dummy soft. Says to me, cool, but a bell, my arcama. Now take a little bit of time so I could be with friends. Happy about everything till face with limit. Now I wish to be free and see what will happen. Cause I don't need to wake up only in the morning. 이젠 조금 잠을 내서 친구를 만날 거야 벽에 부딪히기 전엔 모든 게 좋아 무슨 일이 일어날지 지켜보고 싶어 아침에 일찍 일어날 필요 없으니 Call my boy, when he's going deep to the drum 어린애 레버의 루프 시스코에스 아스 더 야의 바이 무비만의 삶 까모다 사이레덴의 바이 랄라라라라라라 Wednesday stress like a rush hour dream Then Thursday was finally here I only had to take my last step Friday or so past 수요일은 길 막힐 때 드랭 같았어 목요일 이제서야 도착했어 마지막 단계만 남았네 금요일도 지났네 랄라라라라라라 Phew, it was pretty awkward to sing without music and the song is quite face-paced. Anyways, hope it helps you to get the idea of how these languages sound different. Please go check the original version, it's much more fun. Now, one more thing to learn. Yes, one last thing. Let's learn how to say see you Monday. It's easy. You don't need to worry about the verb see. You just add ani at the end of Monday as must buy. So it's as must buy vani. It works for all of the days except Friday. For Friday, you just add ni. As must buy vani. See you Monday. Daisy buy vani. See you Tuesday. Kulma buy vani. See you Wednesday. Nilia buy vani. See you Thursday, Redeni. See you Friday, Lao Bai Bani. See you Saturday, Buha Bai Bani. See you Sunday. Isn't it cool? Imagine that you just say Monday Ani, and it could mean See you Monday. Ani sounds like any or any, so to remember this, let's think like this. Any, I'll see you on Monday, not any other day. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this till the end. It means a lot to me. Hopefully, you've had a fun time virtually exploring Estonia with me. 
though we were off the track quite often. I was very talkative today, I will try not to be like this for upcoming videos, I'll try, can't really promise it though. For those of you learning Estonian or any other languages, please let me know if you have any other tip, I'd love to hear it. Oh, last but not least, I'd like to say some parts of what I've just said in Estonian. Okay, and thank you. Okay is olgu, and thank you is aitah. Thank you very much is sur aitah, and thank you very very much is sur sur aitah. Sur sounds like a cute magic spell to me, and it reminds me of a magic crystal ball because in Korean, suri suri ma suri means avracadavra. I guess if you are thankful or you feel grateful, that's the magic of happiness. For now, Estonian sounds just magical. So, olgu, sur sur aita. I'll see you in the next video. Hiya daiga, nagemist, kokdumizeni. Ciao.